you know. I don't know what I would do if I wasn't doing this. several people that have some ideas of what I would do. I just don't think that I could do anything but just make art. I promise I'm not lying to myself. Because I remember thinking like when I was a kid that my life was going to be really unconventional and weird and most people wouldn't understand it. And that's because I, I, I had a sense of myself and you know, children have a strong sense of self, and that's taken away from them through the education system and through the family unit. And a lot of people will argue with me on that and be like, whoa, a sense of belonging is important. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, that's true, it is, it is. But I think that multiple things can be true at the same time. And I think that when you are part of a group, that can be somewhat detrimental to your relationship with yourself. You know, because you wanna please people. And, you know, I'm, I'm a fucking utilitarian, you know? Like, I think that it's important to do what's best for everybody. But I'm not gonna lie to myself about what's good for me, you know? And I, I think that that is something that a lot of people really, really struggle with. They do things that aren't good for themselves because they think that that's what other people want. You know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe those people don't give as much of a fuck as you think. But... It is a little bit sociopathic to... Oh, shit. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit sociopathic to, you know, not care about how your actions affect other people. But at the same time, It's like there's a balance, you know? There's there's a balance and people don't know what that is. But as I have previously stated, I am a boundary Nazi. And so anytime that, that people are pushy with me, I definitely push back. And I got no problem telling them to fuck off. It's weird the stuff that I put up with versus the stuff I won't put up with, you know? It's like if I went to a restaurant and they screwed up my order, I probably wouldn't say anything. Mainly because I don't want to be one of those people. And I don't trust people who work in food service because I work in food service. And I, I know the type because I am the type. Not to say that like I would do anything to fuck with somebody's food. I've, I've never done that because I would feel guilty about it. I might think about it, but I would never do that. I'd feel guilty just for thinking about it, you know? But there are plenty of people that would do something and wouldn't feel guilty about it at all because they think they're a victim. And whenever you think that you're a victim, it enables you to be a piece of shit, okay? And there are plenty of people that work in service, especially food service, that think that they're victims and that's just complete crap but I'm
mean, it's all in how you approach it, man. It's like, you can get mistreated by people and assume that everybody's like that. And I, I know that like, there's a limit to how much a person is able to take. Some people can take a lot more than others, you know? But I'm a really patient, understanding person and people have definitely tested that shit, you know? And anybody that's worked with me for an extended period of time knows that I'm a very, very patient person and that I empathize with a lot of people that maybe I don't need to empathize with them like it. It's not good for me to do that because, you know, they would never extend me that level of grace. But that's not the point of it. It's really not the point of it. Like, I'm not a good person because I think that, that other people should be good. I mean, I mean, I do think that, but it's, it's not about like, oh, I'm doing this so that other people treat me right. I don't expect anything. And that's wrong for us to be good with expectation, you know? We, we sh that should never be the reason. We should be good because it's the right thing to be good. And hopefully, that encourages other people, that inspires other people to be good. Why can't you go fucking faster, dude? Come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. Just go a little bit faster. Just a little bit. Just a tiny ass bit. Come on, baby. Come on. 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 Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, no. We got to deal with this motherfucker over here. I hate being behind trucks like that. They, they, they got like a, a, a fucking whatever that is. What is that? <laughs> a thing. It's got a thing attached to it. All right. But yeah. I just absolutely hate. And now they're gonna develop some self-awareness. Well, it's about time, dude. It's about time. <laughs> I'm gonna get behind you then, Dodge. Anyway, what was I talking about? Doing the right thing. It's, it's crucial that we do the right thing because it's the right thing, not because we want anything for it. But yeah, I'm doing art because I think it's the right thing. If, if I were to like try to be like other people, that wouldn't be the right thing because that's not what God wants for me. And I've known that since I was very young. But I also knew that that would be a problem because it's not conventional. Anytime you do something that's not conventional, people think that you're a piece of shit. You know? They really do. It's like, they really don't have to have a reason to think that, other than, you're weird. You're weird and I don't like it. You're making me think too much. I hate it when I have to think. I hate it when I have to question my reality. Don't make me ask questions. I wasn't taught how to do that. Fuck you, crazy bitch. 